so shoulders deltoids. Oh, the shoulder makes the shoulders pop, pop, pop. I just wanna be me. Welcome to my channel. Um, you're watching my series called Fit Science, where I'm basically combining fitness and science together. And what I'm going to be talking about today is our shoulder muscles, aka our deltoids. Before I get into anything else, I want to be able to explain exactly how our muscles are attached to our body. So our skeletal muscles at the ends of them, at both ends, we have something called tendons. And each of these tendons are actually attached to our bones in our body. And they're actually attached at a, at a certain point called an origin and an insertion. The origin is the point of attachment where it basically moves the least, while the insertion is the point of attachment where it moves the most. When our muscle contracts, it's actually being pulled towards the origin of that attachment. So shoulders, what are they? Well, the anatomical term for shoulders is deltoids. The muscle itself is shaped like a upside down triangle. Functionally, our shoulder muscles are used to raise our arms up, to put it behind us, to put it across us. Um, and most importantly, we use them to carry the foods to our mouth. Aesthetically, a lot of people work out the deltoid or shoulder muscles because it gives us that broad look. It gives you the illusion of a smaller waist. So first off, I'm going to talk about the shoulder muscles and exactly what it consists of. Second, I'm going to talk about their main functions, what are their primary movements. And lastly, I'm going to talk about how we can incorporate this, all this knowledge and information into the gym and you know the different exercises uh, exercises that we can do to target those muscles. Alright, so let's start talking about the shoulder muscles itself, the deltoid muscle. So it consists of three origins and one insertion. So those three different origins or the three different heads are called the anterior head, which is the front, the lateral head, which is the sides, and the posterior head, which is in the back or the rear delt. And then lastly, I'm gonna be talking about the rotator cuff muscles and how this is important with our shoulder stability. So for the anterior head of the deltoid muscle, basically the origin is on the end of the clavicle and it inserts into our deltoid tuberosity of the humerus, which is about the midpoint of our upper arm. So the main function or the primary movement of the anterior head is flexion of the shoulder or when we raise our arms upwards. Another thing about the anterior head is that it's also heavily associated with our chest muscle, specifically the pectoralis major muscle. And so when people work out their chest, um, we're actually also working out the anterior head because of the fact that the origin of the pectoralis major muscle is also on the clavicle as well. So a couple exercises that you can do for the anterior head are the Arnold press, um, dumbbell front raises, or cable front raises. So the second head of our shoulders is the lateral head or the middle one. And this one is basically the muscle that gives us that broad shoulder look. A lot of people tend to work those out. It's what makes the shoulders pop. So the medial head or the lateral head of our shoulder muscle originates on the scapula, specifically on the acromion process and spine of the scapula. So the main function of our lateral head deltoid is to raise our arms to the side like this exercises that you can do to target the lateral deltoids is to do dumbbell lateral raises, cable lateral raises, and also line side laterals. The third head is the posterior head which is also known as the rear delt. The origin of the rear delt is on the scapular of the spine. All of the three heads come together to insert in the same spot which is on the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus about halfway of your humerus or the upper arm. The main function of the posterior delt is transverse abduction and external rotation. Transverse abduction is basically when you have your arms up and you're moving them back like this or like this and then our external rotation would be rotating our arms out like this. So when we're working out our rear delts, a lot of people tend to think that we're actually working out our back as well. Um, but the reality is you're actually not working out your rear delts and your back muscles as heavily as you are when you're working out the anterior head and the pectoralis major muscle. And that's because of the fact that the rear delt originates on the scapular of the spine while the other back muscles actually originate at a completely different area of the body. A couple exercises that you can do to target your rear delts are high cable rows, face pulls, 
and dumbbell rear delt flies. So the last thing that I wanna talk about that not a lot of people talk about are our rotator cuff muscles. So you're like, okay, well what are rotator cuff muscles and how can we exercise that? Well, first let me explain exactly what the shoulder joint is. So our shoulder joint is actually the most mobile joint that we have on our body. It's the joint that provides us with the largest range of motion. And because of that, there's a lot of instability that can happen from that wide range of motion. So when we imagine our shoulder joint, it's actually a ball and socket joint where this is our humerus and then this is the, the socket that it connects to. So you have the ball rolling in the socket like this, but we also have to think about, well, how does it stay in place? How does it not? go up, down, you know, out of the socket. How does it not pop out of the socket? Well, that is the purpose of our rotator cuff muscles. And the purpose of the rotator cuff muscles is to basically act like a sleeve and surround that ball to make sure that it doesn't slip out. And that's why a lot of people tend to suffer from injuries and things like that, because not a lot of people tend to strengthen those muscles. So the rotator cuff muscles consist of four different muscles. It's a supraspinatus, the infraspinatus, the teres minor, and the subscapularis. I don't wanna go into exactly what each one does because their main function is basically to stabilize our shoulders. So how can we work out these rotator cuff muscles? Well, a couple things that you can do are external rotation, internal rotation, and scaption. Now that we know exactly what the functions are of the anterior head, lateral head, the um, posterior head, and our rotator cuff muscles, let's go ahead and combine all of that knowledge together and create a workout plan where we can target all of these muscles effectively. So we'll start off with our warm-ups with strengthening our rotator cuff muscles. So we'll be doing external rotation, internal rotation, and scaption movements. So I'll basically be doing about two to three sets of about 15 to 20 of each of these movements until I feel like I'm warmed up. Next, I'm gonna be starting off with my anterior delts. Um, one exercise I'm gonna be doing that targets the anterior delts is doing an Arnold press, and I will be doing three sets with 12 reps. Next, I'm gonna be targeting my lateral delts and isolating them. A good exercise I'm gonna be doing is the lying side lateral raises. I'm gonna be doing three sets and 12 reps. So next I'm gonna be doing a superset where I'm gonna be targeting both the anterior delts and the lateral delts to make sure that I definitely feel the burn in my shoulders. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna start off with a dumbbell front raise, then go straight into a lateral raise. And I'm gonna be doing about two sets of these for 24, so that way I do about 12 reps for each. And then lastly, I'm gonna be targeting my rear delts. I'm gonna be two, doing two different exercises. The first exercise I'm gonna be doing is rear delt flies, and I'm gonna be doing three sets and 12 reps. Then the second rear delt exercise will be face pulls, and I'll be doing three sets and 12 reps. All right guys, so that is it for the Fit Science episode for today of the shoulders. If you guys found this helpful, please put a thumbs up, subscribe so you guys don't miss out on my next episode. And comment down below if you guys want to see something specific. And let me know if I said anything wrong or if you guys want to add anything onto this video. You and I